What's going on backend warriors? In this video, we're gonna cover how to edit your pages. Now editing your pages in the backend is easy and very, very simple because everything you see on your screen is drag and drop. So what that simply means is any, any of the widgets on your screen, you can click, drag, and drop into any other placement that you'll like. Not only can you move things above and below, but you can also place things on the left and the right side of different widgets and elements as well. Now, wherever you're going to be dropping this is going to be signified by the blue marker that you see on the screen here. Now, some other adjustments that you can make is going to be the spacing in between different elements. So if you hover over the top, you can increase and decrease the spacing that you see in between any of your elements. Even here with your image, you can do the same by creating the space above by increasing or decreasing. You can also adjust the margins of the paddings here on the side as well. Now, any of your widgets can also be decreased or increased as well by using the in and out arrows here on the right side of your element. Do the same here. Even if we were to go over to the image, as you can see, we can do the same here. Now, above at the top and the bottom parts of your block, you will also notice you're able to create margin to create more spacing as well. And this is great to use to create breathing room for your content on your website. Now, if you wanted to edit the block as a whole as your background, here in the top left corner, you can click block. You're gonna pull up this window. Here, you can add a background image if you like, make various different uh, adjustments for this background color, creating a parallax effect, the positioning, adding a gradient and overlay shape dividers as well as an anchor point and we'll have a video to cover these various different elements now another part i definitely want to highlight is breaking your block down into columns now as you can see here on the top part or at least on your hero section this one is broken down into three columns now the three columns you can see is column number one here is column number two and then this one is column number three if we were to scroll down here on the demo page, you'll also see a section where we have five columns. And we have column number one, column number two, column number three, four, and five. As you can see, column uh, two and four are actually used just to create spacing in between our elements. Now here, when our columns, they can also be easily adjusted or, or easily edited by clicking the column in the top left corner you can see a menu of different things that you can adjust. You can even change the uh, margin and move your column up and down, as you can see even here in the middle one. Now, in the middle one, as you can see, we have a small uh, glitch that we do have, and I want to highlight here, is where if you do have a margin here at the top, and you adjusted your column margin, moving it up, then you will have trouble actually trying to move your column back down. So what you'll want to do is close in this top margin here, grabbing your column again, and then moving it down. There we can create our margin back as we had. Another thing I want to highlight is our text editor. So here if we move back up to the top, we can double click on our text, and here we can change create it bold, change our different textiles, sizing, so on and so forth. We can ad adjust our alignment for our different text as well if we like. If we would like to add any new widgets, all we have to do is hover over our left sidebar, click add widget, and any of the widgets that we have here on the left side can be added to our screen. So of course we have different buttons, icons, quizzes and survey forms, uh, store widgets, video widgets, countdown timers, and more. And all the elements that you find here on the side can easily just be dragged into the screen. And here, you'll be able to edit by clicking on the element and choosing any options here. And as you can see from your text, also your image, you can choose from different options it has available to you, or you can double click to go to the main settings for that particular widget. I'm gonna reset our page here. 
Now you can also add blocks. And one quick way that you can quickly and easily add a block will be hovering at the bottom of one of your blocks that you already have on your screen and finding add block. Here we have a library of different different blocks that you can actually add directly to your page to help you create a design that you're going to love. So we have some professional designers that stepped in to make sure that we gave you the best blocks that we can find possible for our designer. And here you can just choose any of, any of the different blocks, click and adds in seconds. And here, of course, you can edit everything, as we mentioned before, through our drag and drop elements. Now, another thing that's going to excite you about the ease of use when it comes to a drag and drop editor is everything that you actually place on your screen easily scales down to mobile view. So here, you can actually edit where you can actually view and edit the style that you like by hovering over the top left corner and we have a tablet view. You can then add elements if you like or even blocks from our tablet view. But most importantly, is going to be our mobile view. And as you can see, all of our different elements that was placed on our desktop easily and cleanly scales down to fit on mobile devices as well. We will have another video that you'll be able to refer to as we cover more on the mobile editor. As we go back to our desktop view, as you can see in this video, we discussed how to edit your pages using the backend builder, using the ease of use with the drag and drop, adding blocks, editing text, adding different widgets to your screen, and also covering the, the mobile view as well. Hope this gave you a great starting point, but look forward to the next video.